Some 10,000 Palestinians took part in Friday's Great March of Return rallies against the Israeli regime in the east of the besieged Gaza Strip. Israeli forces responded to the peaceful action by killing and injuring the protesters. Paramedics and journalists were also wounded. At least a dozen children suffered from excessive tear gas inhalation. Since March the 30th, 2018, tens of thousands of Palestinians in Gaza have demonstrated inside the so-called buffer zone, demanding the Palestinian refugees' right of return and the complete end to Israel's punishing siege. Our enemy will never enjoy peace or tranquility as long as the children, the women and the elderly people of Palestine are suffering. We will press on with our rallies as long as it takes. The largest and deadliest rallies took place on May the 14th, 2018, the day of the U.S. Embassy's inauguration in occupied Jerusalem al-Quds. On that day alone, Israeli troops killed at least 63 peaceful protesters and wounded thousands, including women and children. This is while not a single Israeli soldier sustained injuries. Today's rally sent a message to the international community, and that is to end its silence on Israeli crimes, to stop its bias against the Palestinian people, and stop its double standards regarding the implementation of UN resolutions. The Israeli regime is an entity above the law because of the support that it receives from the United States. We consider Washington as an accomplice to all Israeli crimes against Palestinians. Protesters condemned the normalization of ties between some Arab countries and the Israeli regime, which they consider as a stab in the back. Those who normalize their ties with our enemy must be ashamed of themselves because they are trampling the blood of our martyrs and thousands of injured peaceful protesters under their feet. According to the Palestinian Ministry of Health in Gaza, Israeli forces have killed more than 270 Gazans since March 2018. Palestinians in Gaza say Israel's deadly crackdown makes them more determined to continue all forms of resistance against the occupation until they achieve their goals. Ashraf Shannon, Press TV Gaza.